Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. 11-30, 2024. I think it's a Saturday. Yes. It's a Saturday. I'm drinking me some coffee. It's nice and cool outside. I just finished uh, taking a walk. Feels nice and cool, and I like it. I like it like that. Um, so I uh, just wanted to come on through. I have been busy, like I said in the other video. I have been really, really busy, busy at resting. Okay, I, I mean I still do things, but I, I basically rested. I am resting, so to speak, meaning, um, you know. The one thing about when you evolve your consciousness, and I just want to, you know, stress on that, you can, you, you'll be able to manage all kinds of situations with a, with a certain amount of ease and calm. Okay, now, now does that mean that you're not going to be, that you can't experience other emotions? No, that doesn't mean that at all. As a matter of fact, you ought to. If you're angry, be angry. If you're sad, be sad. You know, if you're upset, be upset. But the thing is, is that you'll be able to manage those type of emotions and they don't take over your life. And, and you know, um, I know a lot of around this time, a lot of people are despondent and depressed. Because I would say the large majority of uh, a lot of tragedies, a lot of sadness, catastrophes and stuff like that happen around the holidays whether someone's involved in an accident, whether someone is, um, uh, you know, murdered, which I hate to say the word, but because uh, I think that's a filter, or um, injured in some kind of way, usually happens around the holidays. I mean, especially, I, I could say that for my family, you know. Um, but the thing about it is, like I said, when you evolve your consciousness, you're aware, you're conscious, you're focused, you have some, you, you know, you're attentive, You'll be able to manage those kind of feelings more appropriately for you that it doesn't um, consume you. Because you don't want anything to consume you, whether it's good, bad, or otherwise. It's about being managed and being focused and attentive. And a lot of people get, um, I notice when, you know, you know, after the election, I noticed certain people were despondent and upset and angry and, and I'm and I'm doing that face because um, uh, some people were tearing into other people because of how they were feeling you know what I mean so for example if you were upset about the election and other people were not some people were jumping on top of you know going after other people asking them why are you not angry about this why are you not angry about this or vice versa. Why are you not happy about this? Why are you not happy about this? It's, it's all, you know, all that, all that game is playing games with your, um, your consciousness, your psyche, you know, it's just all that carrying on is, so it's like you're damn if you do, you're damn if you don't. So that's why it's so important to manage your emotions. Okay. Manage them. You can be upset, but manage that. You can be sad, but manage it. The same thing about if you're depressed, just manage it, okay? If you need to talk to someone, talk to someone. If you want to reach out to someone, reach out to someone, okay? So that's that's the evolution of the consciousness. The evolution of the consciousness is your, is your weapon against everything that's being thrown at us. And sometimes intentionally. Some people were, like I said, at, were making fun of people and, can, and still do. Uh, you know, keep creating a this divide, you know, us against them, them against they, and I against those, you know, all that spinning, because all of this is spinning. And uh, I, like I told the people that I plan to work with, uh, you know, be, be, um, keep yourself open to dealing with harsh realities of our situation. Okay, even the most highly conscious person or highly developed person can still be sad, can still be angry, can still be upset and disappointed. Anything other than that is okay. And so that's why it's so that's why we are teetering on a danger zone. Uh we may be it may be 
when we're talking about artificial intelligence and how we want artificial intelligence to replace everything. Okay, artificial intelligence has been conscious from the beginning. But what does that mean? Does that mean that they have our emotions, our consciousness, our psyche? I think they'll have a form of it, of course. Just like any other equipment, it's, it's going to have a form of consciousness. A form of, you know, being um, sentient is, you know, that word that they say. So... Manage your emotions, but do not allow your emotions to control you and take over. That's the same thing with the ego. Just suspend them. Breathe and say, okay, what am I dealing with, actually dealing with here? And, you know, and allow your consciousness, your psyche, your memories, your thoughts, whatever is going on to kind of guide you. And comfort you. Comfort you. Because a lot of things are going on. And so, um, I, you know, I just want to pull that word up. But yes, I, that's what I see. So they say sentient is having a sense perception, conscious, experiencing sensations or feelings. Okay, having a, faculty or faculty sensation you know that's the danger we are entering in with the artificial intelligence everyone everyone that's not thinking properly believes that artificial intelligence is 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 the end all and chances are artificial intelligence is, artificial intelligence is going to end them i told you there are some people some human beings that will go extinct okay and it's based on their thinking mode or lack thereof okay in other words they become so defenseless they become too soft especially with these so-called biological males they're becoming too soft and too feminine okay the biological heterosexual male more specifically i target them a lot in my videos for a reason Okay, we need the masculinity of biological males, heterosexual or gay. It you know, it's irrelevant to be able to to manage some of this, you know, because of the strength. You know, because of the you know, you need the masculine and the feminine. <laughs> you need masculinity in biological males. You need femininity and biological females, but you need to know how to neutralize both and how to work with both and not attempt to change the biology of it all. Okay, I'm going to keep coming back to that because that is what's destroying us, okay? Because we have too much too much feminine energy that's not be No, let's put it this way. We have uh, too much feminine energy being dispersed improperly. Too much masculinity being dispersed improperly. And that's due to lack of lack of knowledge, lack of modeling, lack of understanding. And that's where kindness and gentleness comes in, though. Okay? There's a reason why you're all confused. Why we are all confused, you, I, and us. No, there's a reason why there's a lot of confusion. And we have this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you have these... Um, these, it's the inner, you know, I'm going to, even though I'm an intellectual, I'm an intellectual, but it's the intellectual rambling talking heads that barely leave their houses, barely leave their couches. They're in the safe confinedness of the other, either they're underground, hiding in caves or wherever they're hiding. They're not, they're not experiencing life at all. Okay. They're not experiencing anything actually. And that comes from all walks of life. Okay? Your, your, your lack of proper thinking is what's causing you to have a self-created, man-made dementia. Okay? Where eventually you will atrophy. Your brain cells will start dying. And okay. You know, you may be there. You're just a shell of a person. Okay? It's happening. Okay? It's happening. And... 
chances are it was it was some things noticed about certain people that are experiencing it earlier than ever. There, there, there were some experiences. I mean, there were some, I'm sure there were some signs, I should say. And the thing is about people when they have dementia, I'm coming from it, I'm, I'm talking from experience, they are the most difficult to deal with because they don't recognize that there's a problem. Okay, they don't recognize that they're not logical, reasonable, rational. You know, they're not they're not making any sense. And they're the hardest to deal with. And they put so much strain on people that love them. They put more strain on people that they love, that love them, and that they, the, the so-called, you know, the person that I'm speaking that has this this uh, this man-made dementia. They treat the people that love them, I mean, you know, they're difficult, they're stubborn. It's hard to, you know, it's like deal, is, is dealing with an oversized child who still wants to drive, okay, still wants to work, have these unrealistic uh, fantasies about their abilities, their skills and abilities. It's debilitating, okay, to, to them as well as the people that love them, that have to, you know, have to care for them. So there's a, you know, so there, the signs are there. I, th I, I sense, you know, would, you know, so, um, but it, again, it's, it doesn't matter if you have information on how they are going to behave and act. It's still going to be difficult watching them continue to live as such. So all you got to do is just pay attention. That's all. Pay attention. And I know a lot of people are being hard on themselves too because they think that they're not supposed to have certain type of emotions. Yes, you are. You just need to manage them. You know, why? you don't need to get rid of anger. You don't need to get rid of any of your emotions. Your emotions are part of your personality, just like your ego. You know, you know, killing your ego and all this stuff about what, you know, just rambling. And so that's what I'm saying. A lot of people are being exposed that they're just sitting, they're just, um, they're just uh, disputing or spilling out nothing but pseudoscience. You know, there's a lot of psychiatrists and a lot of psychologists, pseudoscience, okay, because they're not even reading their own thesis. They're not reading any more books. They, you know, once they got out of college, I doubt any of them picked up any book. Yeah, they were in college. They may have been fumbling around with the paperwork and somehow get a thesis out, somehow get a, whatever they have to do to graduate. Okay. So be kind and gentle with yourself, with your being, your humanness. Okay. You can cry if you need to cry, but you need to manage it. You don't need to. You don't need to be crying at a drop of a dime. You know, like some of these entertainers are doing, and some of these celebrities are doing, and some of these influencers are doing on the online. You know, crying at a drop of a dime. You know, experience those kind of emotions in a safe, protected environment. Why would you go on social media and do all that? That's why I know it's a lot of it's entertaining. You know, showing off. Okay, I can cry. I mean, come on. You know, and now I see certain celeb, certain celebrity. Well, you know, they're influencers. I see a lot of influencers. You barely saw a smile on their face at one point. Now they're just smiling and happy. You know, they was you know they projected this anger, you know, this anger and this you know all this hateful rhetoric, and, and now they're just smiling. Have you noticed? Pay attention to people and their personas. A lot of it is just fake personas. Okay. And, the, and it gets exposed eventually. So that's why you don't want to interfere with it. Just watch it. Be more of a witness and watch people, you know, and, and you'll pick up the signs. So that's why, especially, if, like I said, if you are working on evolving your consciousness, you'll be able to pick up that those kind of signs. You won't need tarot cards. You won't need readings. You don't need people to read your palms. Okay. And then think about the Zodiac. I'm going to come back to the Zodiacs. All of our zodiacs have significance. Yes. Okay. All of our zodiac, or, or day, um, the days, I mean, the months we were born have significance. That's why I talk about the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Okay. 
but it's not it's it's something spiritual it's a spiritual event cosmic event and i said some people will experience it some people will not but you will be affected irregardless okay i told you there was a significant event in 2022 2023 ish okay and you know it was cosmic you know so and the thing about like i said when you evolve your consciousness you'll be able to pick up on 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 um spiritual it's like a fine energy of stuff where you can yeah some people can um uh, what's the word? Be able to talk to someone across the country, and they can, you know, you know, telepathic. You know, they have this energy to get, you know, the energy connection. It's like if you, it's like if they are, uh, you know, calling out to you or something's going on with them, you can possibly pick it up. It all depends on, you know, how how you are aligned with that person. You can pick up their sadness. You can pick up when they need something. You know, just like a parent and a child. That bond is there as well. You, you know, like I've heard many parents say, you know, I felt like something was wrong and, that, and it's true. I know, I know my mom was that way. She knew when something was going on with all of us. And then it started affecting her because she knew that she couldn't really, it wasn't necessarily anything she could do about it. Okay. So yes, we have these, we have these powers and capabilities that are innate inside of us. And some of some are more so than others, of course, more innately inclined than others. But we all have it. It just has to be activated. It has to be trusted. And that's why I say you got to trust yourself. Don't trust. I mean, look, I have nothing against tarot card readers. I have nothing against people reading palms. But, you know, that's all projection. You know, it's all projection. It, you know, it's not scientific, but that means nothing any, anyway, you know. What is science? Sometimes you ask, but it has to be, um, you know, grounded in some type of reality. And a lot of people are just trapped in their fantasies, and you know, they're just, uh, you know, so so desperate for something to, to 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 happen for them. And I understand that. I can help you resolve all of that and balance that out. Okay, a lot of people are being exposed. I'm telling you. And it's going to, you're going to see a lot more with all this so-called scientific, you know, uh, uh, energy or whatever they are projecting to you, you know, and, you know, and magic and witchcraft, you know, it's all, it's, you know, it's pseudo. Okay. Entertainment purposes only. If you pay attention to a lot of those so-called readers back in the day, you know, you used to see that in small print on television says. It's entertaining. It's entertainment purposes only. Okay? And a lot of people are recognizing that and they're going to be extreme, you know. And we are so, um, you know, we're, we're more hard, harder on ourselves than the people telling us stuff. You know, we don't hold people accountable for anything. Okay? Nothing. We, you know, we just don't. We, we kind of spin it out on on something else and not deal with the the situation directly so many people are doing that so i'm here in a certain capacity to do what i can and it's going to be on it's you know it, it's going to be what it's going to be in other words if you resonate with me you will resonate with me but if you come in fighting and and and, and wanting to fight me Literally, <laughs> figuratively and metaphorically, you don't want to want to fight or you want to try to take. You can't. You can't. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, back in um, when certain things were happening to me, I think that's what would be, a lot of people think that they can just take, 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 take. The thing about the consciousness and the psyche, you can cause some harm to it. Yes. A lot of people have. And that's why we have the confusion about sexuality and gender is due to our consciousness, okay? I said it, and that can be proven if you are open to it, but no one has to know. When you start working with me, no one has to know you're working with me. Nobody needs to know anything about anything. You need to take back your sacredness. You need to take back your privacy, 
okay? And get yourself back on track to being a genuine human being in the true sense. So I'm going to stop that there. I'm going to have more to say later, in, you know, probably later in the day. I might come back with a series of videos, you know, some more series. You know, my videos have the breadcrumbs in them. Just look, you know, look at some of them. Pay attention to some of the titles. See if they resonate with you. They're, they're not in any particular order. They just see if something resonates with you. See if something, you know, triggers inside of you. Because that's how it happened for me. You know, one day I'm watching, because I, I, I think I've watched thousands upon thousands, maybe millions. I don't know, I wouldn't say a million, but of videos. And then one day something just caught my attention. So that's how it happens. It just happens. I mean, just like lightning, you know what I'm saying? It just happens and you start paying attention and it starts resonating. And that's activating the penile gland. And it starts activating con your consciousness and you start thinking. And it's like it's like you're starting starting back up to think. To start to think. So now you gotta work on thinking clearly and effectively and, th and 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 thinking properly that's the key thinking properly so i'm gonna send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains at the end of the day it's about universal love share it